Hello everyone, welcome to Pandey Guruji YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in the detail how to increase the performance of a SQL query and this is the very uh, common interview question. Uh, if you attend the co interview for the data analyst or the any role, uh, definitely you will get the question uh, related to the performance tuning and this question is very common. So each and every student know uh, the base uh, what we need to be follow but uh, the way you answer the question is very important to crack the uh, any interview so i'm going to discuss in the detail uh, what uh, step you need to be explained uh, during the interview process and uh, also uh, what exam practical example you need to be explained so uh, the interview got in place and uh, you the better have you a chance to hold the selection point of view so uh, before starting this uh, uh, video, uh, if you are uh, interested to learn the SQL one-to-one uh, -one training, uh, you can enroll any of the courses. Uh, we have the one-to-one -one training session. Uh, we have the training material related to the SQL. Uh, download a SQL database interview question. A uh, one-to-one -one training, we have SQL uh, query based interview question if you want to um, download and practice. Uh, you can visit study IT education and uh, uh, you can also find the complete detail under the video description and if you have any question if you have uh, any doubt you can directly contact me on the whatsapp which is the given on the video description so uh, let's start uh, what the base uh, tips and tricks uh, what we need to be follow to increase the performance so i will explain all in the detail and you can also uh, 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 see this all this point under the video description as well. So the first point is the uh, never use the star statement. So basically whenever we writing any of the code, uh, developer what uh, they doing, uh, they writing the select star from table name. So uh, if you have the large amount the column, uh, like uh, column name is uh, very uh, like more than 100 or 50 so unnecessary we are retrieving the data from all the column and also uh, this will be required the uh, majorly majorly the higher uh, co cpu cost so that is the reason uh, we never use the select start uh, uh, from the uh, table name so you need to be write the basically column name whatever the column name is required the second point is the use common table expression ct instead of the temp table so other uh, if you explain this uh, concept like we can use the ct instead of the temp table so basically uh, interviewer will uh, ask you cross question then why the ct is the uh, have the good performance than temp table so basically uh, ct is not stored in the physically into the database so basically they create the memory so that is the reason uh, ct is having the higher performance than temp table so this is the alternate question as well so which is the faster ct or the temp table so ct is the always the faster the reason is uh, the ct is not stored in the memory uh, not stored in the table uh, basically in the database so they basically create one memory and when the ct execution is completed it deallocated de from the memory but other than uh, uh, temp table temp table are stored physically in the temp db so if the temp db data is uh, full or sometimes it will be having some uh, performance issue uh, third point is the uh, use union all uh, instead of the union so if you uh, if you don't have the any duplicate data and if you have the chance to use the union or union all uh, you can use always use the union all because uh, the SQL engine uh, whenever we using the union they trying to eliminate the duplicate record so that is the uh, reason uh, that they require the most uh, more CPU cost so that is the reason we always go with the union all instead of the union if you if you using the count function uh, use the count one instead of the count star and count column name so uh, count one is have the better performance uh, if you have any query code 
always go with the store procedure uh, even if you have the simple query also uh, you can you can convert that query into the store procedure and uh, you if you have the use the use the between instead of the in so a uh, between is much faster than in if you writing the user uh, defined store procedure uh, so never use the sp underscore because uh, sp underscore is always the uh, system defined store procedure so that is the reason user defined store procedure we not using the sp underscore uh, practice using the schema name whenever you writing the any of the object like the table like the procedure anything uh, use the schema name like whatever the schema we have so by default schema is a dbo schema but if you have any schema created under our database uh, you can use always use the uh, schema name uh, whenever we have the chance to uh, you uh, looping the uh, code so you can use with the cursor uh, instead of the uh, you you can use the while loop uh, instead of the cursor while loop have the much faster performance than cursor but always try to avoid the looping concept so uh, looping is the very uh, we have the uh, uh, not the good performance okay so that is the reason if we cannot achieve the requirement because we cannot go beyond the requirement if the requirement is not achieved uh, we need to be go with the loop then you can use the while loop always use the set no count on okay and also uh, if you have use the always use the try catch uh, block uh, uh, in the query always uh, remove the unused indexes sometimes uh, so many indexes is uh, created so this is also causing the problem so if the indexes is uh, not using uh, you can uh, remove the unused indexes always create one index on a table if you have the table uh, always use uh, you you need to be create the indexes and also figure out uh, uh, we, uh, uh, we have the which column is more usable uh, more using into the code you can use go with the cluster index we can go with the uh, non cluster index uh, if we already have the cluster index you can also go with the column store index uh, there are lots of indexes is there so you can always go with the uh, proper indexing so the query performance will be higher always use the alias name so alias is also impacting the performance and uh, also uh, whenever you have the bulk insert uh, data like if you have some type of the uh, large amount of data you inserting into table so before inserting uh, you need to be drop the uh, indexing and then uh, you can insert the data because if you have the indexing in the table the data insertion will be very slow so that is the reason always uh, go with the index after the data insert is created uh, all, also uh, I already discussed avoid looping uh, in the coding uh, we can also avoid the uh, uh, correlated sub query or the sub query in the table so the alternate of the uh, correlated sub query and sub query are the uh, join so you can use the join uh, instead of the sub query so this is the very important last very important that is the minimize the number of the join so if you one place if you using the uh, 10 join or 20 join in the code definitely the performance query will be very slow okay so definitely you will get the query very slow so what you can do uh, you can split the number of the join so like for example i have the uh, table a to table uh, something joining inner join to table uh, k something like uh, a 10 table we have so you can split into four table and you can put all the data into one temp table next four table you can join so like this uh, uh, you can perform the uh, you can uh, do this practice way so definitely you this will be get the higher performance so this is the very good uh, uh, practice uh, while we doing some you can also say that this is the also the uh, best practice of the sql uh, query to increase the performance okay so if you have any doubt if you have any question on this uh, you can directly ask the question on the video uh, comment box you can also reach out to me uh, via social media all the detail are given in the 
video description so thank you so much for the watching complete this video i will meet again next one thank you